We show this as a 4-3-3. It could easily morph into a 4-2-3-1 with Sergio Busquets and Dixon Arroyo side by side. Montas and Rosero behind Frenchman Remy Voltaire. Few teams in MLS have a better attacking three than Daniel Shallowy. The red hot Alan Polito starts off with the ball for visiting Sporting Kansas City. This is the first ever meeting in MLS between these sides, and we're underway at Fort Lauderdale. Kansas City into the attacking third again. Johnny Russell takes on two defenders, had a third to contend with as well. One back by Sporting Kansas City, and this is Felipe Gutierrez giving it a go. Rebound is loose and buried. It's Daniel Shallowy to give Sporting Kansas City the 1-0 lead on the road. His seventh goal of the season. Well, Kansas City have started the game really well, but one thing I will tell you straight away is that Callender, he will be exceptionally disappointed that he didn't deal with this better. And then you can just see Shallowy, he goes in, he takes advantage of a mistake from Callender. And he puts the ball into the back of the net, and it's a wonderful start for Kansas City. And it's what they've deserved. They've been on the front foot. They've asked questions continuously of this Inter Miami team. Here's Farias for Miami, looking for the equalizer in this first half. Arroyo able to work this into the 18. Campana, contact with the keeper, Melia! And it's a penalty. Makes the play here. Yeah, and it's the ball in initially from Arroyo, but from a goalkeeper's side of things, there's no need to come out there, absolutely no need whatsoever. He's late to the ball, no question marks over that. It's a definite penalty to see once again. Familia, he can just stay in his line because there's not much pace on the ball. Playoff heroics back in 2020. He saved two of four penalty attempts by the opposition this season, most recently against San Jose several weeks ago. Carlos Groetzo. Here we go, Campana, we are tied! It's coming, that's tracking him, it's Rosero. Then Campana, he dusts himself off, puts the ball into the back of the net, Emilio goes the right way, but isn't able to get there. But that was a scenario where Kansas City, they created their own problems, they've been in control. Levens had a fair share of the ball. Gives here to Yedlin. DeAndre Yedlin dancing at the top of the 18. Wide on Shallow. He plays this far post and buried home. Oh, can you believe it? Campana, second of the night. Inter Miami storms back to take the lead in South Florida. Earlier on in the week, we asked him, have you been asking for any advice from Jordi Alba? And he said, yes what I do when I get into the final third, making the right decisions, and it's exactly what Yedlin does here. Not only the first bit of skill, but then having the presence of mind to know that Campana's going to be in the box. What's his strength? He's physical. I tell you what, I'm going to put the ball up in the air, and I'm going to say, go on, go and get your second goal. And he does exactly that. It's brilliant play from Yedlin, and you just see Campana. Broken up by Fontas. Sent here to the left side, and Robbie Robinson man played by injuries earlier this season. This ball whipped in the touch by Campana. Ball going for the hat trick. Flag did go up. But the run by Campana gets everyone out of their seat here in South Florida. Need a second invitation to play him in. But you can see it's a really good defensive line. Ends up being a great save for Melia anyway. But you just see the deft touch from Campana just to get it on target. But a lovely ball from Jordi Alba. He has one look. He knows that Campana's on the same wavelength. Plays the ball. Handball given against Fontas. Quick restart. It's allowed by Elfon. Here comes Miami. Opportunity here. And it's in. Oh my goodness. It's a three to one game. Facundo Farias. This is absolutely brilliant from Busquets. He knows that Fontas is arguing with the referee. He knows that the left back isn't there. He knows that the left side is centre back isn't there either. But what he does know is that his teammate Farias is there. And it's absolutely brilliant from Busquets. He just says, give me the ball. I want to get on with the game. I want to make this team go 3-1 ahead. His intelligence will then give great credit to Farias as well. Because at times, as a forward thinking player, you can have too much time to think on your hands. Well, he had more than enough time and he was cool. Well, again. 
Tata Martino needs to tax his starters like Robbie Robinson tonight. Second goal gives them such an important cushion. Look at Robinson going, able to cut this back. Still Robbie Robinson saved by Melia. Now he's on it. Everything but the final finish. What a move. Time and time again, he's been questioned about his end product. But this is absolutely brilliant. This is what he's capable of. And this is just an outstanding save. Willie Agata with fresh legs, opts to play this back. Polito for Ndembe. Top of the box, Tommy. This is Polito off the left foot, fires and scores. And we've got game. Alan Polito has pulled Sporting Kansas City within one. Harder earlier on in the play, but it's just great play. You just see his first touch there. He just dinks it over Yedlin, and then it's a lovely finish to the far post. Gives Calendar absolutely no chance. But this little touch here takes two players out of the game and then just finds that far corner. And there's a wonderful strike. Just sizes himself up and puts it into the far corner. Eric Tommy opts to play it out wide, and Denbe with service. This ball gets through. Opportunity here. Fires and a shot that missed. Oh, a golden opportunity for Sporting Kansas City. Well, you see, he's come inside on his favoured left foot. Just gets himself into position here. And it's a huge block from Miller, who's been absolutely magnificent in recent times. Just getting himself in the... Tata Martino growing impatient one more time. Russell again keeps this lower. Broken up. And that's all. Messi, the beat goes on in South Florida.